quick video and comparing nanite voxels to imposters at a great distance this is a five kilometer into five kilometer area with 500,000 trees which is not practical but just for a benchmark it's half a million trees it's very dense you wouldn't use this in game this many trees in games but just for the benchmark and so this is the imposter I'm comparing against. It's uh, what comes with mega scans for every mega scans tree. It's pretty easy to make these kind of imposters. I might make a tutorial on that someday. It's uh, it's nice because it looks pretty three D. You can see it from any angle, and it looks nice. And it fares pretty well in lighting changes as well compared to a billboard imposter, which we will check out later on. That's the uh, second part of the video. Um, but yeah, I wanted to see how this fares against using nanite voxels and if we even need these imposters anymore now that we have voxels. So this is the, the imposters, the 3D imposters right now. It's at 14.5 ms, which um, is pretty bad for having f impo for them being imposters. Oh yeah, uh, there's no shadows on because um, if I had virtual shadow maps on, that might uh, f favor better when you have nanite on so i turned off shadows so there's uh, no problem there so it's uh, at around 14.5 ms right now if you were looking at nothing it would be at around wait, around 4.6 ms so these imposters are costing around 10 ms now if we switch to uh voxels by just turning on for that to go away and just do that and now you'll see that it's at 7.2 ms so with those 3d imposters it was at 14.5 ms and with uh, just these voxels it's at 7.2 ms which is pretty impressive and these voxels are much better at reacting to lighting changes compared to um, th those imposters. It looks a lot better. I'll show you. We turn off nanite right now. Imposters don't show. So, uh, imposters have weird lighting. Like, one side is dark and then the other side is really bright. And it just looks weird in a lot of cases so but now if we go back to voxels real quick all of these guys are voxel right now at this distance and it is a lot more cohesive a lot nicer to look at so i'd say uh, compared to uh 3d imposters or i don't really know what to call these guys but compared to these imposters I'd say voxels definitely when they look better and they perform is significantly better. Like the normal imposters were getting 14.5 and we're getting 7.2 ms with uh, nanite voxels. So now we'll test out the billboard imposters that aren't 3D but perform a bit better. So let's check that out. Okay, here we are with the second part of the video using billboard imposters instead of the 3D ones and they look like this where you can only see them horizontally and they like they're always facing you but you can't see them from above. This is a lot more performant than um the 3D imposters. They don't respond to lighting changes as well as good as the 3D imposters. They do change they do respond to it, but not as good as the 3D imposters. And certainly not as good as nanite voxels. But they do perform a lot better. So here we see um, it's at 8.4 ms of GPU time. If we look at nothing, it is at about 4.2 ms. Let me just get this thing. If you Oh yeah, if you want to get this GPU time graph up, you just have to write stat detailed in the command line and comes up like that so these 500,000 trees are currently at 8 ms and now if we turn and go to voxels they look better the shadows are off but they look a lot better 
and they are performing even better than just billboard imposters, which are pretty bare bones. So it's surprising that even voxels perform better than billboard imposters. Voxels perform better than billboard imposters. So that 7.3 to 7.2 ms, it's 0.8 ms faster than the billboard imposters. So nanite voxels look better than uh, both 2D and 3D imposters, and they perform better than both 2D and 3D imposters, which is pretty insane. So I hope this helps you decide whether you want to use imposters or whether you want to use nanite voxels. Definitely test it out for yourself. See if you get more performance while using voxels or while using imposters. And definitely do let me know in the comments if that is the case or how, how it is for you. And I hope this helped.